JMK 2921 compared to a serial stress tests in the setting of secondary prevention, our coronary CT angiograms much more accurate method of establishing risk. For the latest in health-related information and ways to save your life, check out the newsletter. Yes, for, so just my book, you know, if you really are into reading and or use reading to go to sleep or you've got some masochistic tendencies or you get really detailed and academic sometimes, you can spend a few hours on my book or I'll give you a 30 second summary. The typical way of assessing plaque in our world, ours meaning the general medical world is, hey doc, do I have risk? And the doc says, well, you know, he knows how old you are, he or she knows whether or not you smoke, did you have family history? And they look at a couple of things like that. That's their version in internal to their brain of what they call the Framingham. Framingham is not so good for two reasons. The first one is the doc's just going outside of his head, winging it, and not really getting to some of the details of Framingham. The other reason is that Framingham actually over predicts cardiovascular risk, especially in women, by a factor of two. The second thing that you do is you say, well, let's just go ahead and get a stress test. Stress test is wrong. There is a little bit of predictive value, but very, very little. Two thirds of people that have heart attacks have the level of plaque that's not going to impact their flow and therefore not going to cause a positive stress test. Then the third thing is to go in and stick a needle up your groin and thread it up to your heart and put some radioactive dye in there and take pictures. By the time somebody's doing that, they've already got you signed up to accept a stent while you're under anesthesia. Wrong, wrong, and wrong. Now, there are three much better ways of evaluating it. Calcium score, which is easy. You can find them everywhere. You can find x-rays. Very standardizable. Little to no way to mess those up. But the problem with those is they don't show soft plaque, which is the real risk. They go by calcium score and just make a you know guess regarding how much potential risk you have. Soft plaque is only measured by CIMT. So major advantage for CIMT, disadvantages for CIMT, some garbage in, garbage out. The garbage in, garbage out does not impact the issue of inflammation or soft plaque. That's one of the things that most people don't know, including the standards committees. So that's one of the major reasons I use that. A major up and comer is the one that you mentioned, JMK, the CT angiogram. But it's not quite ready for prime time. I suspect over the next three to five years, it'll get there.